hey lovelies and welcome back for another video today's video is a clean with me i have not done one of these in so long so let's get started so first and foremost i want to say happy new year i hope everybody had uh, an amazing holiday i hope everyone was able to make it through the holiday i know this time of the year can be like kind of rough for you know those who um are going through uh, death and grief and depression and all of that so hoping everyone was able to stay positive and um safe we had an awesome christmas we didn't get the kids too many things but like the things that they got were things that they actually wanted and they actually play with which is always a plus um my years of getting a thousand gifts for my kids are long gone like <laughs> oh i learned a long time ago they play with the boxes more than they play with toys like the thrill of the toys just wears off real quick so we we were very intentional with our gifts this year and probably this will be the last year that we gift gifts um we want to start putting money to the side for more travel. And I just feel like Christmas is just such a a money gouging situation. So I would rather spend money on showing the kids the world, the country, different experiences versus um, us just constantly buying them gifts that they only play with for 5.2 seconds. Anywho. But we did enjoy Christmas, um, and then I celebrated my birthday. I turned hmm, years old, and super thankful and blissful, and I just had a very chill birthday. Um, but let's get into the cleaning. I'm cleaning my kitchen today. start by decluttering getting everything off the counters putting it all in one space well not all in one space putting it back where it belongs child um and then i'm going to just like clean the uh, kitchen table and all of that good stuff and through this entire video i don't think i use many cleaning products i think i was just using like soap and water <laughs> to clean and wipe down everything 
and um i'm holding the towel like that because it's hot i put it in the microwave to get it like really really hot um i like to do that when i have i know i have stuff that's like stuck on like sticky and it just helps to get that sticky and food and all that stuff off the table as quickly as possible it's just using the power of steam and heat So yeah, I'm just using Dawn and a, a microfiber towel and water to wipe down the counters and the countertops. Now if I had used, uh, I'm sorry, if I had been handling like raw meat or something like that, I would have used a disinfectant, usually my Lysol Kitchen Pro or um, diluted bleach. Um, but I hadn't handled any um, raw meat in my kitchen since the last time I had cleaned it. So I was just using soap and water. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me clock and rewind go back to that moment in time when you say you want me for so now the stove is a different beast i'm using uh some powdered barkeeper's friend for this also ajax is really good for this it's very similar to barkeeper's friend to me um but most of those have bleach in them and barkeeper's friend does not so uh if you don't have barkeeper's friend you can either get the liquid or the powder I found this powder actually at Dollar Tree, which I was very surprised. Um, but, you know, they always have Ajax or Comet at Dollar Tree as well. And it actually works really well to clean stainless steel pots and pans. And my Instant Pot um, pot, which is, I think it's stainless steel too. I use Ajax on that as well because I ran out of my Barkeeper's Friend. Um, and I realized that that works just as well. So I'm just going to let this barkeeper's friend sit on the stove for a few minutes um, while I go through the mail. Make sure I'm not throwing away anything important or has our information on it. Life, was it all alive? I gave my all to deserve ya. Begging on my knees just to show ya. You're the one I want and I love ya. No, 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 no lie. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. Someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me. Now on to the dishes. I'm just going to load the dishwasher with whatever else I need to put in there. And then like uh, my larger pots and and pans, like my cast iron skillet, of course, is not going to go in there. Um, the larger items, I'm just going to hand wash. I only had like two or three of those. 
Um, I'm just going to hand wash those. Y'all already know what I'm using. I'm using Done. That's the only dish washing soap that I use is Done. Okay. And if I want to add like a little bit of razzle dazzle to the situation, <laughs> I will add um, baking soda if something is super duper greasy. If something is kind of smelly, like I may have left something in my car in my lunch bag overnight or whatever and it now has an odor i'll put like a tiny bit of bleach in the water just to neutralize the odor and y'all don't come for me for the bleach in the water people been putting bleach in their water for a million and one years and ain't nobody died from it so the key is to not use a gazelle a whole gallon of bleach in the water you only want to use maybe a cap full or like a tablespoonful that's enough To the stove i'm just using a what am i using a metal scrubber to scrub the glass on the stove i have a glass top y'all if you're not sure that this metal scrubber is going to scratch your glass top don't use it just use a sponge with a abrasive um side or use i usually use a razor i just want to try this metal sponge just to see if it'll help um and uh, speed up the process okay um, my stove is old, it's already damaged, so <laughs> I wasn't too worried about it. But if you have a new stove, you're scared it's gonna scratch up your or your surface. I will maybe use a little bit of it in a, a small spot just to see. I didn't notice any scratches, but like I said, my stove is old, it already has some damage done to it, so yeah, just be careful with it. And now on to the microwave. Like I said before, I'm just using soap and water. Um, if your microwave has an odor, you can always mix um, vinegar with a little bit of dun and some water and spray it out. Vinegar is a natural deodorizer, so you can always use that. Mine doesn't usually smell because I clean mine out um, quite often. I also use a cover for my microwave to put over the plates and stuff so it's not splattering everywhere. Isn't in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it and also, y'all, please don't think I'm using the same towel throughout the whole video. I have a whole set of microfiber towels. It's like six blue, six white, six gray. So I'm just grabbing one as I go and wipe, wipe, wipe. When I no longer want to use that one, I kind of throw it in the corner so I don't pick it up again. I throw it on the floor, actually, so I don't pick it up again. And then I just go on to a new towel. And then at the end, I just wash them. But y'all, please use different towels. Like, especially if you're using different chemicals on different parts of the kitchen. It's okay to use a different towel. Now on to sweeping. Of course, I have to move the table, um, the chairs and stuff out of the way. So I can really, really sweep. It's so much stuff that gets like caught underneath that table because it kind of rises. It's like a little space between the table legs in the floor 
So, of course, I have to move my table. And I know y'all are probably like, girl, you could have just used that vacuum. But I hate using uh, my vacuum in my kitchen because there's usually so many, like, large crumbs and pieces of food. I don't want my vacuum to get clogged up. Um, so, it's just easier for me to sweep. And I actually prefer sweeping. I know that sounds weird, but... Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Alright, so now everything is clean We have swept, we have cleaned um, all the counters Done the dishes and all that good stuff and that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.